And I would see him take pills and crawl into the back of the truck and to the point where I just said, I, I can't have you do this anymore. This, this, is, this is not good for me, it's not good for you. And uh, he got into a different line of work, uh, but he was, he was one of the best. The physical impact of being an installer um, for many years was that I injured my back. I injured the muscles in my back and at one point so severely that I literally couldn't stand up straight. Uh, for a period of two weeks I couldn't stand up straight, I couldn't work. And I recovered but I never fully recovered. I personally know of two skilled craftsmen who've either quit working in the stone trade altogether or taken managerial positions probably before they were qualified to do so and way before they were happy to do so because of injuries incurred in the stone industry. You spend five years investing into building the dream team and training him perfectly just to find out that his body can no longer take the abuse of carrying in countertops every day. I think you reach a, a, a point where you have to decide when a countertop is too heavy for two men to safely carry in. And when you consider safely carry in, understand that you're expecting them to do it on a daily basis. I don't expect two of my guys to safely carry in a 400 pound countertop every day. That's just unrealistic. 